often ask us if the backstage story about the M&Ms is true. And if so, why in the world would an artist require a bowl of M&Ms in their dressing room with all of the brown ones removed? Well, the story is true, and it all has to do with the artist's hospitality rider. Most touring artists who perform at the Grunin Center send us what is called a hospitality rider. While every rider is different, they each consist of a list of specific foods and beverages that the artist would like in their dressing room on the day of the show. Some artist requests are relatively easy and include bottled water, a veggie tray, and a hot meal. Some requests are more complicated and involve a completely different type of meal for each member of the band, a mandate that no food on their dinner plate can touch, and the need for a specific type of flour and a specific type of vase to be cut to a very specific length. And some requests are put in the rider simply to make sure the venue is actually reading the rider, which is the case with Van Halen and the no brown M&Ms rule. One thing that is becoming more and more common in hospitality riders is the request for several large bags of ice. The ice isn't for beverages, but rather for artists to soak their body parts in after the show. Sometimes drummers will soak their arms, while other times dancers will hop in a garbage can full of ice to soak their entire bodies. No matter how large or small the requests are, the team at the Grunin Center works hard to make sure the artist's needs are met on the day of the show. Do you need four Red Bulls backstage before sound check? Or an espresso 30 minutes before the top of show? Or a gluten-free, dairy-free meal due to allergies? No worries, we've got you covered. That's it for today. Stay safe, everyone.